What is cardinality? The cardinality of A and B is the same if and only if there is a one-to-one -one correspondence from A to B, where A and B are both sets. When dealing with countable sets, the cardinality of a finite set is the number of elements in the set that is either the finite or that is either finite or has the same cardinality of positive integers. Cardinality is denoted as such. When dealing with countable sets, we can show that a set of positive integers is countable. That is equivalent to showing that the set has the same cardinality as the set of positive integers, which requires showing a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of positive integers. Consider fn, a function fn, which is 2n minus 1, from the set of all positive integers to the set of all odd positive integers. We need to show that the function f is one-to-one -one and onto, meaning it has a one-to-one -one correspondence. In order to show that it is one to one, m and n must be elements of the set of all positive integers. If the function of n is equal to the function of m, then 2n minus 1 is equal to 2m minus 1. So n equals m, which then shows that the function is one to one and onto, therefore showing that there is a one-to-one -one correspondence with the set of positive integers. We can also show that the set of real numbers is uncountable. We can use a uh, proof by contradiction. Assuming that the real numbers are countable, we can demonstrate the contradiction. The basic idea is that if we list all the real numbers between 0 and 1, any subset of a countable set is countable. Suppose the list includes 0.23 and 0.24. The contradiction exists because there is a real number between 0.23 and 0.24. The real numbers a real number such as 0.235. Further, that for any two real numbers, there are an infinite real numbers between them. So it's essentially impossible to list all the real numbers between them. Therefore, real numbers are not the same cardinality as positive integers, so they are not countable. A set is said to be uncountable when there exists no one-to-one -one correspondence between the infinite set in question and the infinite set of natural numbers. The most notable set of, count, of uncountable numbers is the set of real numbers. The reason being that every real number has its own unique decimal expansion. One way to prove this theory is by contradiction. Assume that the set of real numbers is countable. Thus, the subset of all real numbers that fall between 0 and 1 would also be countable. So if we let the real numbers between 0 and 1 be represented as r1, r2, r3, etc., then r1 would equal 0.d11, d12, d13, d14, etc., and r2 would equal 0.d21, d22, d23, d24, and so on. And this would occur for every r, as in r1, r2, r3, and so on. And in this situation, dii is an element of the set 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For example, if we have r1 equals 0 0.2378, d11 equals 2. The issue that arises from this is that every real number has a unique decimal expansion. Thus, any arbitrary real number between 0 and 1 cannot equal R1 or R2, and so on, since the decimal expansions of each number differ. Therefore, 
we cannot account for every number between 0 and 1, since there exists an infinite amount of numbers with unique decimal expansions between 0 and 1. Hence, we arrive at a contradiction, since the initial assumption was that real numbers between 0 and 1 could be counted. Now we will talk about the Schroeder-Bernstein theorem. If A and B are sets such that the cardinality of A is less than or equal to the cardinality of B, and the cardinality of B is less than or equal to the cardinality of A, then the cardinality of A will equal the cardinality of B. In other words, if there are one-to-one -one functions f from A to B and g from B to A, then there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between A and B. An example of this would be to show that the cardinality of the set 0, 1 exclusive is equal to the cardinality of cardinality of the set 0, 1 inclusive. Using the Schroeder-Bernstein theorem, we try and find a one-to-one -one function from 0, 1 to 0, 1 inclusive. Since 0, 1 is a subset of 0, 1 inclusive, f of x equals x is a one-to-one -one function from 0, 1 to 0, 1 inclusive. Now, let g of x equal x over 2. g of x maps 0, 1 inclusive to 0, 1 because 0, 1 half is a subset of 0, 1. Thus, we have found one-to-one -one functions from 0, 1 to 0, 1 inclusive and from 0, 1 inclusive to 0, 1. So, the Schroeder-Bernstein theorem tells us that the cardinality of the set 0, 1 is equal to the cardinality of the set 0, 1 inclusive.